Welcome to Evolkai, a community for machine learning enthusiasts. Now, today we will be learning about decision tree classifier. So, it is a very interesting uh, machine learning model. So, it, uh, uh, it it is like it is a model that uh, that takes the complete data set and then divides it into uh, sub uh, sub parts like creating a tree, creating a tree uh, root roots of the tree uh, something like this so uh, the data set is completely divided into two, uh, into trees like this is a decision tree and a group of decision tree is a random forest which we will discuss uh, later in the coming videos now uh, let's just focus on the decision tree so uh, this is a data set then it is divided and it is divided in uh, many branches now it is uh, used uh, for, uh, it is a really very powerful machine learning model. It creates a flowchart like uh, structure to make predictions on the given data set. Um, it is very useful in uh, industries like healthcare machine due to its simplicity and effective effectiveness in solving classification problems. So uh, now let's just uh, see the practical implementation. Uh, okay, so this is also an iris data set, but uh, while we uh, when we will do the actual practical We will be dealing with iris data set as well as uh, Pima diabetes data set also So uh, simply first we will import the pandas library and use the read csv function to read the csv file and Use the data info function to get the information of the data like uh, what type of your data What is your data type and how many columns or? Uh, how uh, how many columns are there? Then we will uh, simply divide uh, divide the data uh, divide the data into features and predictions. So the features will be the input part that the user will, user will provide, and on the basis of those features, our uh, our, uh, our machine learning model will predict the prediction class that is the species in this data set. Now uh, we will uh, give the all the data from the features in the X and all the data from the prediction class in in Y variable. Now using the uh, using the model selection we will uh, simply divide the data uh, we will simply divide that uh, x y data into x train x test y train y test training part and testing part training part uh, we uh, this training part uh, will be very uh, is the most important part because it is used to train the model and um, the more we will train our model the more accurately it will give the results so uh, that's why the testing size should always be uh, means the general practice is to keep it from 0 0.30 to 0 0.20 because uh, the more less will be the testing size more uh, will be the uh, training size and uh, since more the training size uh, more accurate will be our data now we will print the shape uh, of the data to check uh, if the testing uh, testing uh, part is less or not so in this case the testing part is 45 comma 4 and the training part part is 105 comma 4 so uh, it is quite good uh, training now we will uh, now we will import the decision tree classifier from sql under tree library and we will assign decision tree classifier into the classifier variable now here you can also define ma max depth function uh, inside the de uh, decision tree to uh, to uh, specify to specify that how the how many branches how many depth you want to go in you can give it like thousand ten thousand based on your data set uh, it is used uh, since decision tree is used to uh, used in dealing with ve uh, very large and complex data set so uh, assigning max depth to uh, to uh, assigning ma uh, assigning max depth when dealing with large data set is useful since uh, this uh, iris data set is very small so uh, using max depth is not uh, followed now we will uh, fit the data inside uh, this model with x train and y train the x train and y train are, is uh, is the part uh, is the training part of our data and we will fit this data into the model now uh, vibrate uh, we will make a vibrate variable that will uh, predict uh, value on the basis of the classifier on the basis of the model from x test means uh, x test will be an array and on that array from that array it will print the value of y test and uh, assign it to y print now 
to predict the accuracy we will be needing y test and y print the matrix uh, the accuracy is a, a part of matrix from sqln library and when whenever y test and y print will be same the accuracy will increase and whenever the y print and y test uh, will not be same the accuracy will reduce so more uh, more the number of y test and y print being same more will be the accuracy now we will divide uh, we will multiply it by 100 to get it in percentage so since for uh, iris data set it is 93.33 now let us deal uh, let us come to the coding part Okay, so we have come to our Visual Studios. Now uh, we will simply we uh, we will do what we have done in our earlier videos. We will import the import pandas library. We will read CSV file. We will take data info. We will uh, separate the data into x and y, where x will be our features and y will be our prediction class. Then we will uh, this we will split the data into x train, x test, y train, and y test. Then we will this is the uh, this is the part which uh, will differ only. This is the part where we will uh, define our uh, define our machine learning model. So we will import decision tree from sklearn.trees library, and uh, we will define this uh, define define this model into a classifier CLF, and then we will uh, fit this model with X train and Y train, and everything everything else will be same as uh, in the previous codes. Uh, y pred uh, will get the values of x uh, prediction of the model prediction of the x test that is y pred will have the y test value that is predicted by the model and we will predict the data now one interesting part that i want to show you here is uh, is let me just uh, run it again the accuracy here is 97.77 now let me just run it again uh, Okay, so accuracy reduced to 84%. Now you would ask that why is it happening? It is 91 again. It is 95, 93. So it is changing again and again. Now this is because uh, it is a very small data set. As, uh, as I have told you, it only has... Uh, it only has 150 150 values in it each column has 150 values so uh, why is it is this happening so let me tell you since this is a small data uh, decision tree is splitting it more and whenever a new uh, a new value is given uh, a new value new prediction value new testing value is given in it it is uh, it is taking it into different branches and making it and uh, making it diff difficult for it to work with so uh, we what we get from here we get that decision tree is a good classifier good machine learning model but it works uh, good with uh, big data with large amount of data now uh, let me just uh, use Pima data set here to get a comparative analysis okay so we have come to our visual studios now uh, we will simply we uh, we will do what we have done in our earlier videos. We will import the import pandas library. We will read CSV file. We will take data info. We will uh, separate the data into X and Y, where X will be our features and Y will be our prediction class. Then we will uh, this we will split the data into X train, X test, Y train, and Y test. Then we will this is the uh, this is the part which uh, will differ only. This is the part where we will uh, define our uh, define our machine learning model. So we will import decision tree from sklearn.trees library, and uh, we will define this uh, define define this model into a classifier CLF, and then we will uh, fit this model with X train and Y train, and everything everything else will be same as uh, in the previous codes. Uh, y pred uh, will get the values of x uh, prediction of the model prediction of the x test that is y pred will have the y test value that is predicted by the model and we will predict the data now one interesting part that i want to show you here is uh, is let me just uh, run it again the accuracy here is 97.77 now let me just run it again uh, Okay, so accuracy reduced to 84%. Now you would ask that why is it happening? It is 91 again. It is 95, 93. So it is changing again and again. Now this is because uh, it is a very small data set. As, uh, as I have told you, it only has... Uh, it only has 150 150 values in it each column has 150 values so uh, why is it is this happening so let me tell you since this is a small data uh, decision tree is splitting it more and whenever a new uh, a new value is given uh, a new value new prediction value new testing value is given in it it is uh, it is taking it into different branches and making it and uh, making it diff difficult for it 
to work with so uh, we what we get from it we get that this entry is a good classifier good machine learning model but it works uh, good with uh, big data with large amount of data now uh, let me just uh, use pyma data set here to get a comparative analysis Now, uh, I'll just change this outcome. And everything else will be the same. Now, I'll run all. Now, see, the accuracy here is 73. Now, I'll run it all again. 67, 74, 66, 68. So now it is not changing in that wider area. Now it is like uh, it is in a specific range for uh, but in the previous in our iris data set it was going with a very vast change like from 20% and but in this case it is not happening. It is limiting a range. So more uh, more big will be our data more easy it will be for us uh, to give give us specific uh, specific accuracy now for handling this this issue uh, uh, decision uh, of decision tree random forest classifier was introduced which we will deal with later in our coming videos now uh, moving to our slides okay let's so let's dive into the decision tree uh, into the conclusion of decision tree so it is a very versatile and intuitive uh, model it works by constructing a tree as I told earlier and dividing this large big data set into uh, sub into small pieces and uh, when whenever a value is uh, when whenever a value is input uh, is input in this uh, is given as input in this uh, machine learning model it checks with every branch and then gives out the results so uh, ma uh, maximum of the time the prediction is really very good. Uh, but there are some negative effects of this uh, decision tree is and it is that overfitting though overfitting is a maximum problem of for uh, all the machine learning models because uh, training data uh, uh, training data uh, more can be a good thing but overly doing it is not a good practice so it could lead to overfitting that we will discuss in the coming videos where i will show you what overfitting really is and what uh, how can we treat it okay so that's all for today thank you for being with us and uh, i hope you enjoyed the video thank you and happy learning